Hi all, today I'm going to be doing a very quick review of the Philips Perfect Draft beer dispenser. I'm not going to spend ages doing this review, um, as I know that there's lots of reviews already out on this unit. Uh, but the main reason I wanted to do this, this review was, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I already own uh, a blade beer dispenser uh, and uh, a subcompact beer dispenser that I've re reviewed both. Um, and, you know, being brutally honest, the reason I bought this machine is, you know, I love the blade and I love the subcompact but you can be limited on the beers that are available and lagers and ciders that are available on the machine um, and I think the reason for that is literally down to the blade being owned by the Heineken group uh, and the compacts either owned or licensed by Heineken but you, you're going to be limited to limited to the, the drinks that they have available uh, to the group uh, it'd be very very unlikely I'd imagine that you'd see anything outside of of any other beers that are on the Heineken group. So that sort of led me to have a, a little bit of a look around uh, and I've seen the Perfect Draft so many times uh, and you know when I had a bit of done a bit of research on it straight away I could see that they had over 50 beer ciders um, lagers available on the unit and you know definitely there was some on there that you know the drinks that I would like to drink. Um, obviously great news now that I've, you've, I've seen that Brewdog Punk IPA has been made available on the unit um, that I think it's got announced two or three days ago. It's already available on, on some of the websites. And it just sort of gave me them, them options. So I thought it's worth, you know, buying the unit, giving it a go and seeing what it's like. So what I want to do is, first of all, is quickly show you what I got, how much it cost, where I got it from, and then I'll go and set the unit up uh, and sort of test it and give you a bit of a, a view on what I think about the quality of the beer and a, a bit about the unit. So if I start off where I bought it from and how much it cost, uh, I actually purchased it from Brewhawk um, on a Black Friday deal. Uh, and the unit itself came in at £199 uh, with free delivery. And the unit included two free glasses that I thought was quite a nice touch. Uh, and then I purchased Krona. And like I was saying earlier on, it's, I went in a bit of variation of what I could drink. Uh, and that was, 30, I think was £35.50. pence. So in total, I spent £234.50. Um, straight away, it, as you can probably tell by the price, it's a lot cheaper than the blade. Um, what I will say is, from getting the unit out of the box, it's a lot lighter than the blade. Um, but no, it looks nice. Uh, I've got to say, you know, the cost probably matches where you probably want to spend uh, on a unit for home if you're getting, you know, you're starting off with a beer dispenser at home. So what I'm going to do now is I'm quickly going to. Go and get it set up. I say quickly. Hopefully, it's going to be quickly. It's not going to take ages. I have pre-chilled the keg. Uh, get the unit set up, uh, and once it's to the, the right temperature, pour a pint and let you know what I think. See you in a bit. Okay, so here we are with the machine now all set up. That really didn't take long at all. Uh, I think it was roughly around ten minutes. Uh, I think it's probably down to the Arctic weather we've got at the minute. I left the keg outside uh, today to, to cool down. Um, literally you have to sort of connect the handle to the keg, uh, put the keg into the unit, there's a calling plate that starts calling the keg. The pipe pulled through really easily, uh, it's quite quite nice actually, um, th there was no wastage. Um, and if we look at the unit a bit closer, obviously we've got the, uh, the handle, nice, I think you can change the uh, tops of them as well to what beer you actually, or lager or cider you're drinking. The unit also gives you the current temperature and how much is left in the keg. Um, within the beer, like I said, it's Krona. There is a bit of lime hiding in there somewhere. Uh, tastes absolutely great, so I'm really happy with that. Really nice looking unit. Um, you know, would I say it's as nice as the blade? No, I wouldn't. Uh, but, you know, straight away it's done what it's meant to do, and that's pour a good pint. Um, it's better than sort of a canned version. But what I am going to be doing, and you know, this is going to be a follow-up video, you know, I'm going to probably do another video of what this machine is like in a couple of weeks, and I've put a few different kegs through it. But overall, what I'd like to be able to do is actually do a review of the blade versus the perfect draft. As we know, there's quite a bit of cost difference. Different beers, but I think there's going to be advantages and disadvantages of both units. So, you know, if you can subscribe, that'd be great. Um, you know, Within the next month or so, I want to get that review out between both units. I want to give the Perfect Draft, you know, a fair chance um, of what it's doing. And then I can give you an honest review on, on what machine I'd recommend, you know, benefits of, of negatives of both. But no, thank you very much. And uh, 
hopefully I'll get another review out soon.